Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Boas noites. Sean and Tiernan here. Thumbs up if you can hear the audio. Hi, Mimi, Brenda. Hi, can you hear us? Gala. Check in the audio. Let us know if you can hear. Thumbs up. Okay, great. We wanted to connect on a little bit earlier. Great seeing you all here in the village of Bayona. Look at the beautiful fortress walls behind us here that we're going to explain a bit about. The Montreal Fortress. And we're going to get right down into where the action is for the arrival of the word of the discovery of the Americas. Behind us there, you can even see top of my head, that's La Pinta, the replica. And we're wearing our costumes, as yeah, you can see. <laughs> that's right, we'll show you. We'll both get a frontal view with our costumes on. <laughs> yeah, great fun. Well, welcome everyone who's joined. If, I think I recognize quite a few names, so you've been with us before. If any new to our tours, say hi, let us know where you're coming from. So how does the image look tonight, everyone? Hi, Maria. Como estas? Hi, Maria. Yes, we're going to be going right down. See, there's all the village behind me. A Bayona. Lots of people. This is record-breaking so far this year for attendance. Hi, Maria. Great to see you. Hi, good to see you, Maria. So, Bayona is a very important town here in Galicia. So much history happened here and of course so important for Spain as an important port that got the word of the discovery of the Americas all there in South America. But we'll tell you a bit about that and then see the action, have some fun. And while we're going you can ask us questions and it's going to be loud. Yeah, very loud. You were here quite a few years ago, Maria? Yeah. It's a nice little, nice little seaside town. Very noble village as well with all of this that's happened in the past. And for sailing is important here too. The, the port down there, lots of sailboats, regattas every year that we're going to explain about too. I'll give you a little spoiler here. This is where we're going to start at this monument here. And Tiernan will be telling us about it. Yeah, we'll be explaining a little bit yeah. the monument. But look at these views right now. The lighting is perfect. This is part of the fortress walls here that I'm going to be talking to you about because this really is the birth of this village. And another little spoiler. Hi, everyone that's just joined. Marguerite, JV. Hi, everyone. We are in Bayona, live in Bayona. And right down there, right in between, we can see a glimpse of La Pinta. Yeah. So look at these spectacular views. A very nice night clear view so i'm happy about that but we're going to be going right down to where all the action is down here and what's nice is we've got special passes from the tourism here that we can get right down to the action so but i'll be explaining about this in a bit we've still got of course six minutes really wow now we can chit chat a bit and so tomorrow as well, we'll be here. It's going to be more focused on the stalls. And we're going to see the stalls. And of course, we're going to go aboard La Pinta. So you'll see the replica. A nice little museum in yeah, there. Yeah, a small museum that they have inside. It's very nice. But tonight's the actual acting drama of the discovery. So they're reenacting the whole thing. Yeah, they've been doing this. Uh, now this is the 27th edition. There's a nice shot in the background with the castle. We're going to have all different types of music. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Lisa. Good to Hi, see you. Thanks for joining us. Sean and Tiernan here, a father and son duo in Galicia, northwestern Spain. But I'll give a full intro as usual at the start for those of you that don't know us. And it's great to be back on Hago doing Las Fiestas. Or festas, as they would say in Galicia. Okay, thank you very much, Jerry. Much appreciate your time. Thanks, Jerry. But we're going to get you as close as possible to the action. We're going to be right on the sand where no one else is allowed to go down to. But there's going to be horses and everything else, so it's going to be they're gonna noisy. Do, they're going to do jousting as well, I think. Well, that's another day. There's that's different events. Day. Now they've just got the show. Yeah, that's the show. Now today is the show of the rival. 
Hi, Amanda from Indiana. Good to see you. Lorna, great to see you from London, Ontario. Good to see you. So we'll be walking down slowly to where the event is. And it starts at 8 o'clock, the whole presentation of the arrival. They come out in the small little auxiliary boat right from the Pinta there and acting like bringing the word in, the actual sailor. What's his name, Dira? Cristobal Sarmiento. Yeah, he'll be coming there because he's actually from this village. Yeah, he was, he was from, from Bayona. And uh, we'll be seeing the whole... It's great. saw it a few years ago because we live close by here in Cangas, another coastal town. We're about a 40-minute drive. And to get an idea, if you look in your maps there, you can see where we are. We're just down from Vigo. We're about 20 minutes from Vigo, 25 minutes. The largest city in Galicia. Yeah. With yeah. almost 300,000 inhabitants. Mm. Hi, Liz. Good to see you. Hi, Tony. So we still got four minutes there. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining. Give me a spoiler. Go in front of the camera for a second. Right, here's Tiernan. The backpack kind of ruins it, but look at that. There's Tiernan. Looks like he's going to a medieval dance, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> Yeah, and look at that light of the sky, folks. Isn't that beautiful? And we're going to tell you what that monument is there. So I'll give you another little pan while we're waiting. If anyone has any questions, let me know. Hi, Tony. You've been to Beagle three times. Wow, we have to make a fourth and come back and give us a call and come on a food tour with us, a walking tour of the old quarter. <laughs> yeah, it is nice, stunning sky, isn't it? And look at the beautiful tower and the walls. Not going to spoil anything yet. Look, you can see the moon up there, too. I'll move the gimbal as slow as possible today. But I have to be probably shoving through people. But the way that we're starting it here, it'll work out good because you can see it's not too crowded down on this hill part so we can walk down and go right over to those stalls there. And then there's the... the stands right behind where the beach La Ribera is and then you can see La Pinta right there so that's where all the reenactment will start hey Mike there's my brother Mike hi Uncle Mike Mike O'Rourke over in Scotland and Edinburgh he's our Hagel guide there too there's a lot of great tours he's got a whiskey tour coming up you can share the link if you like Mike and he's got going up all the way to the whiskey country there Whereas we do the, the wine country around here. It's a nice little park here too. Jan is there right now. Wow, great. Yeah, I saw your photos there on Facebook, making me jealous with all that whiskey you've been tasting. <laughs> but look at us here. Wearing the nice hat. <laughs> yeah, we're all dressed. There's our house right there. You see that? That's our house. No? It used to be. We stole it from the Counts of Gondomar. So now it's the. That's our new O'Rourke Castle. <laughs> Hi, Lorraine. Good to see you. Don. Hi. We actually did, Mike and I, when we did backpacking way back in the time, we actually went all around Ireland. We went up to Dromhera Village. And right when we got it, it said Dromhera, land of the O'Rourkes, lords of Breffney. And then we said, hey, we're home. We even saw a destroyed part of a castle, which was taken over by the by the English at Cromwell called Parks Castle now but it was the Rourke Castle too bad now we'll have to steal this one <laughs> no we love all the medieval and history and of course all the food intertwined with these events because the stalls and all the different types of uh, gastronomy not only seafood and fish which is quite abundant but we've got the, the meats the cheeses oh, talking about food again <laughs> yeah always <laughs> Here we always talk about that. <laughs> Hi, Olga. Good to see you. Yeah, we're just waiting for our start. That's Mike's tour there. So anyone likes to learn about whiskey and see the beautiful countryside there. Scotch whiskey and see all the nice countryside. Join Mike there. Today we're going to be focusing on this village of Bayona right behind me there. See? Yes, you'll have to come to our food tour. That's what we do in the city there and around to the wine country we try and trial we have to try everything beforehand it's a shame 
the belly suffers from it. <laughs> well, he's young, he's got the metabolism, but me. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be like you in a few Well, future. yeah. Keep riding your bike. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep burning calories. <laughs> so we're just a few seconds before we get started. We'll let a lot of people log in there. And then we'll give our full intro here. And we're going to take you down to where the action is. Let's get the castle tower, or I should say the fortress tower. No castle now there, but there used to be. Okay, everyone, well, welcome everyone that's just joined in. Bongo, good to see you. My name is Sean. And my name is Tiernan. We're a father and son duo, and we do tours here in Galicia, northwestern Spain. You can tell by my accent, I'm not Spanish. I'm originally from Vancouver, Canada, but lived here for over 20 years now, doing all food, wine, walking, and cultural tours in this area of Spain. And Tiernan can tell you a bit about himself. I was born in Vancouver as well, but I grew up here in Galicia, as you can tell. I'm a Galician-Canadian. I was raised in a small fishing village called Cangas de Morazo, which is near Vigo, the largest city in Galicia. Now I'm here with my dad doing these virtual tours, practicing my guiding a little bit and getting used to it. Yeah, it's been two years now we've been on Hago, yeah, you believe it? Two years. Yes, Lisa, we're going to get into that. It is actually a parador within the, the walls of the fortress. So we're going to get into that. That's where I'm going to start now because it's the real origin of this city. Now I'm going to turn you around so anyone who has any questions as we're going, if we don't get to it while we're on the tour, keep it till the end as well and send it again. And we're going to be showing you Bayona today. And I'm going to focus on where everything started in this village. Right here, you can see the rocky outcrop here. And where we are, I'm going to share even a photo because this gives you an idea of how beautiful this peninsula is. This is where we are right now. We are on a peninsula called Monte do Boi, which means the Ox Pins Peninsula, so a mountain of the ox. This used to be a Celtic hill fort from the second century BC. And then the Romans came in here and conquered, and the Romans turned it in. There was an old castle here before, and it was always a strategic point. There has been even remains found in the digs here, of Phoenicians that have done trade here. It's always been an important trading point. And then it was uh, bought over by the Counts of Gondomar. And they made it into their palace, the part of the castle. And, that was, and then in 1963, if you've heard of the Parador chain of hotels, they bought it over. In 1966, they inaugurated it, and here's the beautiful Parador. So it's actual hotel you can stay in and enjoy all the excellent gastronomy. Here's a view from the site of the Parador. And look at nice rooms, very regal rooms. This is where I put my clients in when they're staying here in Bayona. We put them in there and it's just the best option to explore the coast. So in these walls here, even in the medieval times, uh, the Catholic monarch, because of all the tax here, being in this little peninsula and all these tax that came, there was Turkish, there was Algerian pirates, there was even the English, Sir Francis Drake that came here, didn't he come here, didn't he? Mm -hmm. And then that was in 1585 where the Counts of Gondomar actually drove them off and they actually won privileges from that from King at the time. Yeah, lots of history, Mary. But this is where it all started, like I say, and it was called the village of Irithana before it was named Bayona by a king that we're going to get to explaining as well as tomorrow. But look at the beautiful sky, everyone. Yeah, so everything started where we're standing. And this is a spot where they had everyone within the walls at first. Because the Catholic kings wanted to protect the village, so they made them, they forced them to stay in the walls. And they didn't like that, they felt like they were prisoners. So eventually they moved back to land and built all the port area. And now it's a, a village of 12,400 people. But would you believe in the summertime, being an important summer destination, it's almost four times more, 45,000. Yes, isn't that beautiful? Hello. And we've got all down the coast here, known as the Celtic coast because of its rockiness and all the history of the Celts in this area. So the tribe that was here, first of all, was the Herminian Celts. So that's a little bit of history about Bayona, a little bit actual facts about how many population, and it's as well a sustainable village because our mayor here, Carlos, uh, 
he actually put a project into the EU. See all that? I'm going to show you here first of all if we get to the monument. See all that that they're building over there? They're making a whole walkway where it's going to be all for pedestrian. And it's going to connect right into the main part of the, the town. And they actually got all funding from the EU for the next gen. 10 million euros. So they've done well to change this village to even a sustainable village. Isn't that beautiful, everyone? Look at all the kids down there. They've got all, they've got all the kids' attractions there. So this is thousands of people that come to this every year. This festival that we're at... What I'm going to tell you when we go around the other side is called a Festa da Arribada, the Arrival Festival. So Tiernan is going to tell you what we're looking at here now. Yes, yeah, so right in front of us we have a monument called uh, Encontro Entre Dos Mundos, the meeting between two worlds. So it was inaugurated in 1993, coinciding with the fifth centennial of the arrival of the Pinta to the port of Bayona. So it represents five groups, Galicia, the Americas, the people who emigrated to the Americas, the people who returned to the Americas, and if you, you can see there in the middle, there's a sphere placed there, and it symbolizes the world. So inside that sphere, there was deposited uh, 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 samples of soil of 22 Latin American countries yeah. by its ambassadors at the day of the inauguration of this monument. And the king was here too, no? And the king of Spain was here yeah, on Philip, that day. Philip the Six. So there's the flag there. So it honors the discovery of the new world. So this was, he was the prince, the prince of Asturias, now our king, King Philip the, the Six, because his father, Juan Carlos, was a previous king. They've always came to this village and they're very loved here. Because it's a very noble Noble, important village. Hi, Paul. Good to see you. All the way from Edinburgh. See, I know how to say it right, no? <laughs> and it's all made of granite by a Galatian sculptor called Machin Julio Picayo. Yeah, let's see this. It's all granite. See how it's all... They're very good stonemasons here in Galicia and in northern Portugal. Granite's a main building material. So everyone get your postcards there. This is what... The, the meeting of the new world to the old world. And all the people that have come back over the years. Oh, well, thanks for following us. You know you can follow us. Thanks for following Clicking us. the button there on the channel. I keep forgetting to mention that. But now you can see us here all dressed up. Now you go up there, Tiernan, first. And we're going to give you a... <laughs> there he is there between the two worlds <laughs> yeah now you can hold the gimbal and show my ugly mug <laughs> turn it around there see look I look it like I look like Superman with my cape <laughs> good we're going to have good fun now we're going to head down so you can see down where the action is and we'll turn this thing around for you look at the nice lighting tonight now let's walk all around and we're going to show you some more of the walls there. We're going to do another tour where the Parador is. We're going to do another tour going around the whole walls because you believe it's three kilometers and the walls were originally started to be built in the 11th century and there was even a, remains of a castle from the 10th century. So we're talking this was from the 10th to the 17th century, all of the parts of the, the walls and the kings that helped a lot here was the king Felipe IV and Alfonso IX. You know, here, and he's the one that yeah. gave Bayona its privileges. The founder and protector of the city of Bayona. We're going to see him. Of Bayona. We'll see a nice statue of him down there. Yeah, he gave it the, the new name because I like told you it was called Irithani when it was on this peninsula here of Monte do Boi. Then eventually they moved down and they changed the name to the Real Bayona, the Royal Bayona. And they've always had granted quite a few privileges for trade because of all this bringing the word of discovery. There's a nice shot there, and there's the tower. That was the clock tower, no, Tiernan? Yeah, it had a forge built there 
It was placed in 1510, and it was used to warn everyone from the attack of any invasions. Yeah, beautiful. Everyone's sitting on the nice rocks here. And we're going to be going down there now, everyone. So you can see the bay. This here, right here, my finger, is the start of the building of the Yacht Club, Montreal Club de Yates. That important, like I said, for sailing. You see all the sailboats in the distance behind the Pinta replica. There's a regatta here every year. It's the 38th edition this year. It's the trophy of the Prince of Asturias, again, our king now. Felipe, Philip, they'll come here and they do a lot of sailing because his dad, Juan Carlos, was a really avid sailor. So, and he's the honorary president, Felipe. The honorary chairman, I should say, not president. They have another president, Alvarez. So he comes and inaugurates this whole regatta every year. And the club started in 1965. Let's go down, I think, the stairs. See, there's two different ways to get up here. We've got the, the ramp, and we've got the stairs. We're going to go down the stairs. Yeah, if anyone has any questions, go right ahead. So anyone that's just joined in, welcome. We're in Bayona, Galicia, Spain. Welcome. I'm going to stop here. This is a nice lighting for this without the... There you go. So we are going to do another tour going through the Parador, going around the walls, the three kilometers of walls, and telling you all the history about the towers. There was towers that were for imprisonment, even of a Portuguese king, and as well the house of Austria. A prince was locked in there with an iron mask. So there's lots of history we're going to tell you guys all about when we do that one. Yeah, they had two towers that work as a prison as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, back then, you know, you had to, when you captured someone, like I say, even the king of Portugal, that's a prize, so they put him right in the tower there. Now let this person go by. So really nice rocky granite stairs, but i got to watch my steps. Everything's granite here. So there's the yacht club right there. And inside, I'm going to show you, I'll send you another photo here, I'll post a photo. Inside... It's really nice. It's got uh, shaped like the, an old boat caravel inside. Caraval. And uh, quite an important yacht club here. There's quite a few of them along this coast because you look on the map where we are, all the bays and the coastline. So the Galatians love their sailing. There is even a maritime way of St. James, you know, the St. James, Santiago, where they actually follow the maritime route and they go all the way up to the bay and then by foot to Santiago. So you can actually follow, doing sailing, the pilgrimage way of St. James. I'm going to show you a little monument down here. i got to go nice and slow. i got my, my knee is bugging up on me. So let's go around here. I'm going to get ready for the show because now... 15 minutes before it starts. Starts at 8. So we better we better get down, no, Tiernan? Yeah, we better get our spot there. <laughs> Slow and steady, that's right, yes. And oh, hello everyone that's just come in. We're going to go around this ugly part here. And we'll get into the, the grounds at the bottom here. So it's all throughout. So the festival is called Festa de Arribada. This is the 38th edition, and they started the first one in 1996. But it was actually declared a holiday here, a local holiday, on 1974. So then, they, but they started doing all the festival, 1996. So here, we've got all different types of food. Tomorrow is going to be a, a more pinta day and food day. You can see all the people there enjoying on top of all the old chests and crates. And people get all dressed up. Yeah, those are plane trees, Mary. They prune them back, and they come actually all with leaves and like almost like vine-type leaves. But they're all through plazas in Galicia because they act as real good foliage for the to shade. So now you can hear the music, everyone. Now, if it does go crackling my mic, let me know, because I can turn the volume down. Yeah, we can turn our volume down. Let's 
to crack Because when there's other noise around us, surrounding noise, it can happen. But if it's all good now, when does the festival end? Tony is asking. This is a weekend, so it's the third, fourth, fifth, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Here's all the different Arribadas festivals. See, they have all the posters they do every year. Nice, aren't they? It's always the first weekend of March. So, an Arribada, the first word of the discovery. We're going to tell you more about the history tomorrow. So, men to sign up tomorrow to our, our tour in the daytime. But of course, it was in 1493 on March 1st that the Carabal La Pinta arrived on the beach here in La Ribera Beach in Bayona. So that's where we're going to get into position now. About 15 minutes, then we can talk a little bit about the history. I'm going to show you all these actually. They're quite nice, aren't they? Get your postcards. I'll go all the way down and then I'll go the other side. If anyone wants to take any shots? But they have a competition as well for designing it every year. Someone's sitting down here, let me get around. Nice, isn't it? All the colors. This is this year. That was last year, and this is this year here. Arribada. So as a festival, it's of international touristic in interest, and that was since 2015. 2015 it was categorized as that. And then is in, we get by these people here, sorry about that everyone. And uh, it, it was the first fiesta festival in Galicia, so it's been a very important festival. That's why hundreds and thousands of people come here. Why the puppets in this year's poster? It must have been the design that they fell for, that they liked the best that won. This one's nice. But they have all for kids. They've got more kids displays. Yeah, that's a nice one too, see? Go back there and just... You see La Pinta. Yeah. Well, we can get back to this a bit later, too. It's on all the posters. 38th edition now. So now I want to get into spot because there's going to be lots of people. And I want to get into position. We don't want to miss the show. Then we can talk a bit more there. It's always a, a challenge. It's always a challenge weaving around the people here. So we're going to be going right through here and going down. Bear with us now. So we're going to get the backs of people right through here. Perdón. I'm going to put you up high now. Yeah, perdón. 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 Hola, nosotros estamos para aquí. Para grabar, estamos trabajando para con Tello. Sí, que viene ahí, vale. Okay. We just have to wait a quick second to get in here, and we're gonna be standing right inside here, no, right actually down on the, on the sand they let us. So isn't that great, everyone? And look at the Pinta there, look at that. So they do this tomorrow as well, they did it on Friday, this whole act of the arrival, and they bring back it over 500 years. This is the celebration for 530 years since the arrival of La Pinta. So when they say the, the type of ship, the Carabao, that we're going to talk about tomorrow. So they're going to let me in here. Sí. Vamos para allá abajo que nos diga. Sí. Okay, everyone, we're ready to, to go in. This is good. They're really good. They did this for us. We're going right down the sand and we have to go right through here. Open that up there, Tiernan. The backpack ruins your yeah. <laughs> ruins your show up. Now we're gonna be right here. Sit down, let's see where we can get down. I'm gonna be right like this, because he said to come down because the actors are gonna be all around us. But look at that. How is that? Is that front row seats? <laughs> Look at us here, we got see <laughs> VIP seats for... <laughs> yeah, what we do for Hago, no. Yeah, it might be loud, because I've got, look what I've got right above me. And I'm happy that the connection's not interfering. We've got all the speakers. It's 
So yes, the type of boat, the caravel, they say it comes from a name, an Arab name, Karabu, and it was the Portuguese that actually brought it from the east, this first style of ship. It was different than the normal ships that they had here. They were a lot bigger. And then they modified it. It was only Spain and Portugal that were using the caravel type of ship. They modified, they put in um, a, a sail, a triangle sail, and then the big front sail too. And they're much faster, but they can carry, they carry less, but much faster than the other ships. That's what we're going to explain tomorrow, that uh, it was the first one, that was why it was arriving. And when it was coming back to give the word, there was a time where it got up to 15 nautical miles the speed, which is about 12 nautical miles now. And that's about the speed, even the mid-sized cargo steam, steam uh, boat. Interesting, all these facts. They're also much better for going into the Atlantic. Yes, there's the easily more maneuverable. That's right, yeah, Mary. Yeah, that's the three caravels. Yeah, we don't want to spoil. You've got to come tomorrow, everyone, because that's the, the tour that we're going to talk all about, the Caraval Pinta. All the different ones. It was the Santa Maria, which you can tell them, Tiernan. Yeah, so it was Santa Maria, or also known as La Gallega, it was its nickname. Then we have La Niña, or also known as the Santa Clara, and then La Pinta, the spotted one, or the painted one. And as well, they say the previous owner was a Pinto family, and that was why it was named La Pinta. Yeah. But they don't know for sure. But those are the three ships. Uh, the Santa Maria had crashed over there on actually Christmas Day, on the 25th of December, 1492. So it didn't make it back. So that's why Columbus was on La Nina and came back to Lisbon. But we're going to talk more about that uh, tomorrow. But it just arrived here on March 1st, 19, or 1493. And they came and brought the word. And you're going to see everything here. Sarmiento, the sailor, will come in here and give word. He's from Bayona. And the captain, what's his name, Diana? Martin Alonso Pinzon. Yeah, he was the captain of La Pinta. He said that's why they arrived before as well, because he was a very skilled captain, very good, and made it here quicker to land. Yeah, and was the fastest one, the fastest yeah. caravel. So where did they leave from? Does anyone know? There's a question for you. Don't Google it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Let me show you, it's here. Don't cheat. <laughs> yeah. From the south of Spain, in the province Huelva, so in Andalusia, and the name of the village is Palos de la Frontera. So it was from Puerto de Palos that all three of them left. Yeah. And that's where that replica that's there was made there. There's actually two replicas of La Pinta, and both were made there. One is now in Palos de Huelva, Palos de la Frontera in Huelva, and here in Bayona, docked at the port. Down there they have all three of them, no? They have the other ones, in there, the Santa Maria as well, yes, the replica. Well. So we're glad to be able to do this. It's great that tourism has let us have access like this. The light's nice, isn't it, against the water? I'll take another pan around there so you can see. And thumbs up if the, the, the signal should be good. How does that look when I zoom in? Can you see the detail of the barrels? Good, because I'll be zooming in and out, and you guys can let me know if you want to focus and everything. It's all going to be in Spanish, of course, <laughs> and Galatian. <laughs> but then we can explain here. I'm going to send the program, actually. That's what we want to do, Tiran. I'm going to send the program. It's to... There we go. It shows the, the whole drama group, the, the name of the company, the name of the... The name of the director... Abelino Sierra Fernandez. You visited the re replica John Cavut ship in Bristol, England. Oh, that's great, Liz. Much smaller than expected. Yeah, they even say that this is to scale, so you're going to see tomorrow when we go aboard. And someone asked the time. The time is 3 o'clock Spain time. All right, so we're going to be at 3 o'clock. Yeah, and what we're going to do is... Walk onto the Pinta. There's a little 
set up like what it used to be like inside. Thank you, Sue. Good to hope to see you there. And so that's going to tie in with this one because you'll be able to go and see it because they're going to come on the little auxiliary boat right from there, the little boat, brown boat, and then they'll come off here. Yeah, now the lights are getting there. Let's see what time is it now. Yeah, five more minutes before it starts. So this production here is about half an hour, they said. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go in the streets because along the main promenade here, I'm going to show pan around. So when they finally left, oh, thank you very much this for sharing the link. That's for tomorrow. So when they finally got tired, everyone of being forced to stay within the walls of where I showed you above there, the walls of the fortress, they gradually came down here. And that's where the whole village became about here with the Havals. The nice streets at the back, the old streets. We're going to go to the town council. And that's where all the stalls are set up. And then here, of course, is the nautical port. And behind that, where we'll walk right to it tomorrow, is the, the remains, the little bit left of the fishing port. It's still a fishing port where they have a, a fish auction house, fish and seafood auction house, but not as much as before. Now it's more a pleasure boat sailing destination. You can say the, the, cu the cup here, the trophy that they do of Principe de Asturias, the Prince of Asturias. Sailors come, or regattas come from all over the world to do the event. So that's in September. 1st to the 3rd of September. And this is where the king, Juan Carlos, the Privest King, he's a, the Emeritus King, and he's, he always brought his family, his sons, so that's why his son's really into sailing too, our present king. So if anyone has any questions, go right ahead. We're just waiting for the action here, everyone. Anyone that's just joined in, Janine from Michigan, good to see you. We are in Bayona waiting for the start of the reenactment of the Arribada, the arrival of the word of the discovery of the Americas. So it was actually, it wasn't Christopher Columbus that saw it, it was one of the sailors on the Pinta that pointed and saw land. We're gonna see his little statue on the nets at the top when we go and see La Pinta tomorrow over on the other side there. But this was on October 12th, and that was in 19, or sorry, 1492. Was this the 19, that's a little bit early. 1492, on October 12th, he pointed and he saw one of the islands, it was at the Bahama of the Islands, it was Lucayas, was the name of the Bahama Archipelago, and that was the first discovery that they found. And I can explain the, the Santa Maria, Columbus was piloting it, and he was very tired one night, so he let one of the younger sailor boys pilot it at night, and he ended up crashing it. That was on the 25th, on Christmas Day, would you believe? And that was in Haiti, ha Haiti, 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 yeah. Haiti. I was gonna say Haiti, Haiti. And there's even a, that was the first Spanish was it settlement there that they had, they yeah. used the wood to build the building. And then he hopped on La Nina and came all the way back. And he came all the way through the Authorities Islands in Portugal, then right to Lisbon, then down to Palos de la Frontera. Maria, La Pinta, they're built to the scale, the original. Yes, it is the original scale, so they say. You'll see when we go aboard it, it's quite small. And when you look at a photo here, I'm gonna send the action another photo. Look at the difference in sizes here, La Lina, you can see La Pinta almost just looks like a, a sailboat next to them. See, there's Santa Maria, the next one is La Pinta, the, the, La Nina, and then you've got the Pinta there. But we've got a few other photos I'll share tomorrow. So as usual with the event, yeah, we're almost right on time now. It's 8 o'clock that it starts. Hi, Terry. Good to see you. We're in Bayona at the festival, La Festa de Arrabada, the arrival of the Discovery of America. You're reading the program, yeah? <laughs> Good, yeah. If anyone scrolls up, if you just came in, I put the... Well, not the program, it's the lineup of all the actors and who they're playing. It's all in Spanish. We'll hear it all through there. They'll be speaking, of course, in Spanish and Galatian. It'll be nice. They'll be all horses and hopefully we don't get trampled on, no, Tiernan? Yeah, hopefully not. Because he said, oh, you can go down there, but you're going to have to be careful, both of you. <laughs> okay. This is actually good for me. This is the best front row seat. 
Yeah, you're sitting down. I'm standing. <laughs> yeah, save money. <laughs> nice medieval music. So I've been coming to Bayona for, for years. I use it as a, a base for a lot of my clients staying for a few days. They're traveling to this area, staying in the beautiful Parador. Like I shared the photo before, if you scroll up, of the rooms. And we're going to do one inside there. Because Bayona, we're going to start uh, doing quite a few virtual tours here. There's lots of other festivals that at the end, Angie's in the background somewhere, and she's going to share a link at the end of the of our show today to see a list of the other important festivals. Look at the lighting there now. Let's see if I zoom right in if it doesn't get too... How's that look at the light? It looks a little bit blurry. Does it go even more? Oh, 5.1. I don't know if you get a screenshot of that uh, postcard, if it'll come out okay. The zoom feature is great when they added that in to do things like this especially we can stand back and zoom in. Liz is saying, find it really interesting, most of these, the European. Oh, thank you, Angie. Yeah, Angie just shared the other festivals, the seven most popular festivals here that we have on our website. So you can take a look at that. We're going to be covering some other ones. Liz is saying, find it interesting, most of the European expeditions were mostly led by Italians, including John Cava, but the Italian state didn't adapt to the Caravel or the Americas. Yeah, the Caravels and the Americas were all the Portuguese and the Spanish that went over to the Americas. Okay. Yeah, probably because of the funding, the Spanish through Castilian kings were quite powerful, of course. And uh, the Portuguese loved their carabels as well. Very similar. Like I said, in the 15th century, they were the only two countries using this type. There's a link there Angie's sending for, for the tourism. We're going to send more at the end. We're going to wait until we get started now. But that's the tourism of Bayona and the town council, if anyone wants to look in there, because it's an area where they can, a good base to have, stay in the Parador, or even one of the other nice hotels that we're going to show you tomorrow. We'll be passing by. And then you can explore the coast. There's beautiful islands off the coast that tomorrow you'll get a glimpse of them. The sea is islands. Yeah, it's actually a nature reserve. Yeah, we've talked about that on other tours that have been to us in Beagle. In Beagle, we've talked about that. Yeah, we can wait till the end there as well, Angie, to share the rest of them. That's great. That's our Bayona travel guide. Because everyone at the end will send them there. Yeah, we're happy to be able to do this. And now we're 8.02, so let's hope it goes well. We're not allowed to even stand up because they said to the, we don't want to make the people jealous that we're right in front row <laughs> and as well so the people behind can see because they're all along the wall there. You can probably make out people and behind us there's all heads watching this. Hi Hans, Amina, Vera. We're just waiting for the start of this event, La Arribada, the discovery of the Americas. Every position here. Good. So if anyone has any further questions about Bayona, any curiosities, just let us know. We're good for time now. I'm right beside. I hope they don't put all their axes inside here and everything. What's that for the jousting? That's probably for tomorrow. <laughs> we're right in the we're right in the heart of it. But these. The lighting's just perfect for to do this. Hi, Karen. Good to see you. We're just waiting for the start of our show here. Hi, Karen. So the most important king, I would say, like we explained before, was the Alfonso the Ninth. You can see a nice statue made of bronze in the middle of a square here. Tiernan will tell us about that's tomorrow and standing again. next to his horse as well. <laughs> yeah. First time you've heard of Bayona. Well, yeah, if you've been to Vigo, you mentioned there, Tony, it's only 20 minutes south. And this port was actually more important than the port of Vigo before the 18th century. 
I mean, this was the spot because of the, the arrival of the word discoveries, because of all the privileges they, were, they got from the kings. So it was a place of trade. Oh, you're welcome, Liz. Yeah, sometimes approaching, you never know, but then the Biona's been great. Very supportive of our projects to try and promote different destinations and bring village that we love. Like I say, it's been over 20 years I've been bringing people here. And I do a food tour here as well in the old quarter. And if you guys know, this is the part of the pilgrimage way of St. James. Not only the one I told you about the maritime route where you can sail, it's part of the coastal way of St. James. So it's the Portuguese coastal way. It starts down in Porto and goes along the coast instead of inland and it comes all the way up through to Bayona. So this gets a lot of recognition for the coastal way. It's actually the second most important way now. The French way of St. James is the most frequented and I think it's the coastal one now. It's actually even pulled ahead of the normal Portuguese because the Portuguese one goes inland but then this one goes a variation. It goes along the coast. Yeah, you can search on Google there for the, the There's maps. There's seven Caminos, no? Seven yeah. variants of the Caminos? Official. Well, variants, no, because variants, one that changes it. There's different Caminos that they have, and there's about seven. And there's other ones they're scouting out. As well, what I'm going to share with you, here up on the hills, what's the name of the hill, Tierney? Grova Hill. Groba Hill. Now up here, this is where it all started as wild well. Wild horses. Yeah, see those wild horses? They do a festival every year with the wild horses where they corral them down. It's called Kuros or Rapadas Bestas. And they do up in this hill there. So we're going to actually test up there, would you believe, and see how the signal is and see if we can show you some of the wild horses. They're indigenous of this area. Like I say, from the Celts most likely. And they all roam free up in the hills. And they bring them and corral them down every year, different times, in June usually. And then they uh, cut their manes, they get a haircut, the veterinarians check they're healthy, and then they run up the, the hill again with them. So it's beautiful. You gotta know what you're doing. <laughs> they're smaller horses, you see. They're, a little, they're bigger than a donkey. They're smaller than you know the Andalusian st uh, stallions but they're very tough and they can walk and walk for many many kilometers so that's why they were good and they're like mountain goats so they're actually there's an association that is protecting them so they won't get extinct because some of the fires as well have killed off a lot of them but it's all throughout Galicia that you'll find these horses beautiful isn't it and uh, up from up there Amazing view, so we're hoping that on we'll be able to bring that to you. I'm trying to see if I have any other little photos of the horse while we're waiting. No, well, we're gonna that, that one's nice to the second one I sent to you. So we walk down from the, the castle, uh, the, well, the peninsula where the castle used to be, the fortress now, it's also called Monte Real. So the peninsula. The first name was Monte do Boi, which means the Ox Hill, and then now known as the, the Royal Hill. And there's a nice seawall, a promenade that goes all the way around. Well, you know how shows go. Never start right on the time, do they? <laughs> Especially here. <laughs> The sand, you see the sand here, it's very fine. Let's see if I... Nice fine sand. All the granite in the area. So these beaches, this is a Ribeira beach. In Galician, they will call it a beach a praia, like in Portuguese. In Spanish, it will be playa. So this is where they came right in on the little boat. Saludos desde Bayona. Carmen, good to see you. Good to see you, Carmen. We're going to be showing the Arribada, the arrival, right to your screen. Yeah, the night, the Shelly, the night's lights are beautiful, aren't they? 
Worth the wait. Yes, it is, Claire. It's going to be spectacular. It's so great seeing Bayona, all the people out and enjoying, all dressed up too like us. We'll show you again later on for those of you who didn't see our outfits when we get out of the dark. Here we've got to stay hidden. I've got a nice cape on too. <laughs> it's always fun getting in the mood. Yes, Liz, night has fallen quick. The days are getting longer and longer. That's why I want to wait before we do the, the fortress walls. We're going to wait until the, the lighting is, the days are even longer. So then it works for times. Over in the, the US, Canada, so there again, there's the whole promenade. So you can see the nice colors of my camera on my phone there. The reflection on the, on the water is beautiful. But when it gets going, I probably won't be able to answer too many questions, but you hold them till the end. And what we've got here is some of the best seafood in Galicia because all these rocky, like this peninsula, all the rocky coves and, and outcrops, you've got excellent barnacles, they're called perthebes, goose neck barnacles. You've got clams, limpets. Mussels. Mussels, octopus are all hidden under there. So, okay, looks like we're getting started, everyone. Yeah, here's a light for Oh, that's not, he's not the one coming. He's not bringing the word. <laughs> I don't think he's bringing the word. He's testing it out. That was just a, a trial run. You have to make sure everything's right. That's going to start now. Yeah, they're waiting there, I can see. music. We got all the flags. And what's nice, it's not windy at all today, so we're good with that. And everyone can hear the music in the background? Yeah, so these are actually, the caravel's a little bit smaller than a tall ship, Ethel, but they're beautiful little ships, the caravel style. Not a cutty sack, but they're fast, almost look like medieval yachts, really. Tomorrow you'll have to join if you can log in there. Tomorrow, at 3 o'clock, we've got our other tour, where we're going to go aboard, right over there. La Pinta, that brought the, the word of the discovery. Thank you, Liz. Thanks, Liz. And we'll get into the stalls, like I explained to everyone else, and tell you about some of the, the sweets they make here. What's the name of the sweet, the famous so it's one? It's a traditional sweet, and it's called the Gnoclos de Pinzon. Yeah, you can it's Google like a type of rosquilla, donut. Yeah, we're not going to tell you anymore because we want to show it to you. Thank you, Deborah, very much for the tip. Appreciate Thanks, your, Deborah. Appreciate your donation. So now we're getting, everyone's getting set up in their positions. Exciting. The other years it had to be over top of someone's shoulders watching this, but this is a privilege. So like I told everyone up at the top at the start, by on us of the village, it's got 12,400 inhabitants, just about. But in the summertime, it goes up to about 45,000. So it just, it's an attraction for many people for the, the islands, for the seafood that we just explained, and the wine country here. We've got nice white wine country of the Rias Baixas. And just enjoying even for families and sports. It's not only in the summertime, though. I, I would suggest coming here off-season 
And it's not as busy, of course. And so much to do. Thank you, Maria, for your donation. Much appreciated. Well, it's a good thing that no interference with all these other cameras and their lighting. And Bayona has quite a few beaches too, so if you do come in that time of year, June, June till October here in Galicia, the weather's very nice, so you can enjoy the beaches and even beautiful promenade you're going to see tomorrow for biking, running, so it's quite an athletic little village too, and you can't beat it for sailing, with the, the yacht club here. Now, I want to take you all virtually on a sailboat all the way to the, the islands, the Sea's Islands, but over there, the connection's rough. I went there to try. That's the sort of things you gotta come and see yourself. The Sea is Island, C I E S. And they have two smaller islands at the mouth of the bay here yes, in Bayona. The of, of three islands, the Thea is Islands. And then the smaller ones that are right here is, uh, what's the name of the smaller ones that are here? Estelas. Estela. Estela Island. Yeah, Stella, Stella the forest, Stella the dentro. Small little island. But in the daytime, this is nice because the two, two different episodes we'll do, you're going to get night views now. And we're going to see action with drums and everything after the show. Then tomorrow you'll get to see it in the daylight and see all the people dressed up and, and all the action through the streets, cobblestone streets. If they're gonna light right on, they probably will shine the light right in the water when it comes across. I want to make sure I get that and then zoom back, of course, for you all. Hi, Paul, good to see you. Hi, Paul. We're at La Arribada Festival here, the Discovery of the Americas. Another important festival here is time of the Holy Week, Easter, Semana Santa. If they do in the south, we'll hear as well. It's a important processions that they do. We're going to go through the streets and go into a little chapel, you see. Let's see if, oh, look at the, the moon, everyone. Look at that flare. <laughs> See all these people lined up. It's crazy. Yeah. All along the promenade. Let's see how we're gonna get out. There you can see everyone. Yeah, I might be able to see Venus and Jupiter Mary if I have a, a big zoom on there, no? <laughs> you had a telescope, yeah. There is a lot of even going out to these islands that we just explained, the Sea's Islands. You can see the stars, there's a lot of people astrology going out there, beautiful, you know, uh, wherever you, you go look at the stars. Well, they got the light on the boat now. Is it? Yeah, visible to any eye from where you are. Never been to Ontario, so that's one place I would like to go. I was born and raised in Vancouver, British Columbia, but never got all the way out there. So, well, thank you for your patience, everyone. Of course, we we'll have to wait for this to get rolling.
So they've got all stands that each is here with all even the ones that have the, the seats there you see everyone with the castle behind so quite a setting you can see one of the towers from here of the fortress yeah that looks neat with all the people there over there yeah Yeah, the music's nice, at least that keeps, uh, keeps us going while we're waiting. Isn't it? Yeah, the, the guy was nice when we first came here. He's like saying, no, you can't stand on that side because I saw a spot that I like to do the filming. He says, no, no, the horses are going to come running in, so you better watch it get trampled on. I go, okay, well, no. <laughs> well, there's even a helicopter over top. Checked and it should be visible. Yeah? Wow. wow. Thanks, Liz. Yeah, I'd have to check it out. Yeah, after your snow, take a look. <laughs> I wanted to get here early, but we've got a late start, a Spanish late start. The elation, the music is worth the, the wait. Bring you right down to the sand, like the discovery. Hi, Darlene, good to see you. Yes, it does add an effect in there. Now we want the action to start. Like I said, we just saw the light, spotlight go on La Pinta there. So I imagine they're getting ready for the auxiliary, but I'm gonna zoom right in and see if we can see any action over there. Oh, the horses are coming in. Are they? I can hear horses. They're from the other side. Now I'm getting scared. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. I'm just waiting for the discovery of the World of the Americas to start. La Rivada. Excellent festival here in Bayona. So they said on the news, of course, you never know how many, but they said that between the three days, they expect like 150,000 people that could visit this festival this year. But other additions they've had in the, in the thousands, but not that much. Oh, they've got a light spotlight coming on there. There we go. Yeah, they're testing the lights. Okay, they're still testing out. Probably some tech issues. We know what that's like, no? Well, there's people going to La Pinta now. Going aboard La Pinta. Yeah. Uh -huh. Probably some technical, maybe. But we are good for time, because even if we do go over on this, uh, Charlene, the festival goes just this weekend, it's always the first weekend of March. So it goes from Friday, it started yesterday, Saturday and Sunday. So three days of good fun. They even have from the city of Vigo and from Cangas, they do ferry boats that come right from there and bring people like arriving on a ferry to here to the terminal like La Pinta. Okay, I think we're ready. Oh, 
Oh, that's strange. The zoom makes them go all blue. I'll have to keep it 1.5. He's saying it's cold. Yeah. Five for you. Five for you. <laughs> Yeah, the streets were, are, were very packed today, going through this old quarter. Everyone stopping at the stalls. Typical food from these fairs here, and what have we got? We have a churrasco. Uh, what, what's churrasco? That's the... Uh, ribs. Ribs, yeah, ribs. Pork then ribs. we have uh, chorizo, empanada, Galatian empanada with different fillings. Yeah. With bonito tuna, meat. We also have the traditional sweets like the one that I mentioned, gnocchios, type of donuts, small donuts. Ah, the bagpipes, good. I know, uh, Boas Noites. We're in Bayona here waiting for the fiesta to start. La Arribada, the arrival of the Discovery of America. Hi, Sheila. singing is beautiful and in the Galatian language we can hear drums over there now too right over there. we're going to see these guys I don't know if any were with us at the other festival in Moanya that was great too there's this group called the Trola they're here as well they're hear drums and everything so we'll see that a bit of that after If anyone that just joined, I'll share the program again, just so you don't have to scroll all the way up. Will the program know the list of all the actors and who they are? So you can see the actors are all there waiting. That's weird, huh? There we go. This blue light doesn't affect I hang on the lenses there. Hi Libby, good to see you. We're in Bayona, Galicia, Spain. Look over here. Huh? There's a guy dressed in How do we pronounce the name? Shurshon. Shurshon. Yeah, the X's are a T-H. So it's, it's like an, an S-H. Shurshon. It's like Jorge in Spanish. Galatian is Shurshon. Yeah, you can ask Tiernan all about Galatian because I'll mix it all up with my mix of Spanish and Galatian all together. But it is a beautiful language. Flying quite low, checking out everything. If anyone
anyone has any other questions, go right ahead. If you have any anything you'd like to know about Bayona. Oh, here we go. Started everyone. It's the discovery, the word is the discoveries of the Americas. Arribada, that's what it is there. Someone asked what festival it is. The main characters will be the ones that come off the boat, but this is family as well of the sailor from this village, Sarmiento. So here we go, look. Let's see if I can get a good angle. So they came from La Pinta. And the main characters that come off the boat, of course, say, is the sailor and, and as well the owner of the boat. Cristobal Quintero and Martin Alonso Pinzon. Everyone see that okay? Oh, you're more than welcome, Consuela. Bit tricky here right down the sand, but it feels like I'm part of the action. So I want to make sure people are not seeing me with a gimbal. I'll ruin the scenery. Let's see. Everyone see that? Look. They're bringing the word of the discovery. <laughs> Great lighting. Yes, I will zoom. En nombre de la corona, suplico a la señoría que, que a esta marinería pueda haber tierra en Bayona para ver tal providencia sin avillaje ni embargo, habéis mostrar vuestro cargo, salvo conducto o licencia. No es bastante mi persona para vuestro otorgamiento. Soy yo, García Sarmiento, marinero de Bayona. ¡Sarmiento! Get your postcard I don't want to see you later. Cruzando el mar tenebroso. Saying he's his his wife and his kids 
filhas means daughters. <laughs> No debes, mujer, chorar, que a la que feble encarará nioso. Torno a casa, subiloso tras vencer y no tomar. Saying, the return home after all the, the fierce, stormy sea. Sarmiento, tanto orgullo y vanagloria, simulando ser victoria lo que ha sido gran tormento. Nuestro gozo es por estar en Bayona a salvamento, tras el gran descubrimiento de otro mundo allá en el mar. Otro mundo. <risa> Ningún mundo hay más allá del inmenso mar ignoto. A no ser, caro piloto, el que habrá en la eternidad. Yes, after all that journey from the seas. The audio is gone out. No llegamos a salvamento arribando a esta villa porque allá es vos la primicia por vos toda Castilla y es ahora menester que deis vuestra aprobación que recibáis a Pinzón sin más tiempo que perder. The red and white flag is the Castilian kings and the other ones with Christopher Colón. Okay. Vamos. Okay. Probably the Crusaders as well. It's got the cross. I'm trying to stay not too close, but I'm getting near act, the action right in there. Look, I'm going to zoom in a bit more. Play the bells of all the towers of Montreal. There we go, there's a boat. Position a bit, everyone. Can you see the boat, everyone? Let's see. Oh, there we go. Now you got to I'll zoom out so it gets better, clear. But there you go. It gets a bit shaky. There's everyone off the auxiliary boat from the Pinta there. Sorry for the shakiness, everyone, but it's a zoom when you go way in. Look at that, the discovery of the Americas. And it was Rodrigo de Triana that actually spotted it on the 12th of October, 1492.
tan gloriosa arribada que lo haga su patrona, la Virgen de la Anunciada. Alzaos, alzaos, Martín Pinzón. That is the captain, Martín Pinzón. las hazañas de Colón. Antes pido humildemente el ayuda de un barbero, un cerrador o curandero que remedia a esta gente. Pinzón llega vacilento. Y a que este indio agonizado y es preciso haya un purgante que nos traiga curamento. Eh, que acudan los pañoleros del Hospital de Caridad, en nuestra Santa Hermandad. Yes, Virginia, but this was a discovery a to Europe presto, of the Americas. Presto, 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 presto. Vale, vale. Estamos fríos en confortar a que este indio moribundo, que llegado de otro mundo, a otro mundo va a pasar. A lot of the crew members were well, quite ill. De ahora, noble Pinzo, en nombre de sus altezas, relatándonos las grandezas de tan luenga expedición. Sarmiento Quintero. Well, I'm going to move back now. I don't want to get. I'm just taking you right into the heart of it there with my gimbal. <laughs> Say, what's this guy doing? He's not from 1493. Columbus fleet, yes, that's what I thought it was. Thank you. He partido de nuestra villa, bajo de la frontera, bajo la sombra de la bandera de la reina de Castilla. Wow, look, we've got the. That looks neat. Celebration time. Yeah, they were all wanting to arrive finally. All the way, bad weather. Tras andar leguas sin cuento, alcanzamos salvamento en las Indias señoradas. ¡Ale pro! ¡Alerta! Alerta. Yo, Rodrigo de Triana, a las dos de la mañana del viernes 12 de octubre, cuando la aurora descubre, descubrí la tierra indiana. Por ser la pinta madera, avanzaba la primera de las otras destacada. Ya era la persona encargada de hacer la guardia tercera. Y engaviando la escalera, por si tierra pareciera, aviste, aviste un callo poblado gritando emocional. ¡Tierra! ¡Tierra! Hearts of everyone's like it so far. Fuimos todos a cubierta. Qué alegría. No hay tamaña que descubrir tierra extraña tras empresa tan incierta. Y al dejar descubrimiento, mató pintor a Sarmiento. Sarmiento. Dispararon a los barrios. Y a Quintero. 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 Sin garra. Como manda el reglamento. ¡Alegría! Todos gritamos. Y a un estando mal abierta, de rodillas en cubierta, esta salmodia detonamos. Gloria a Dios omnipotente, 
sempiterno y uno infinito, por mostrarnos el camino que ha sido de Dios Presidente. Es con inmenso placer que no se ha la flota. Avanzando la isla remota comenzó a amanecer. Sí, es correcto, Liz. El 1 de marzo es cuando esto sucedió. Y la bandera comenzó. But they do the festival the first weekend, so Friday, Saturday, and the Sunday. Es la cosa más hermosa que jamás he visto. Ven, Pinzón. Ahí, ahí ha de ser. Esta tierra la habremos de tomar. En nombre de Castilla. Y allegándose a la brisa. Otro mundo, yes, the other world, <laughs> it's, a, it's a new world. Enseguida aparecieron estas pobres criaturas, amosando sus naturas cual sus madres los parieron. ¡Oh, priesa, no sería descubrir presto su inocencia! ¡Que ante tanta concurrencia han de evitar desmanes! Estas gentes, mi señor, jamás usan vestidura, y amosarnos su natura es en ellos natural. Tanto exceso de espesura, es de gente sin juicio. No debéis tomar por vicio lo que entraña a otra cultura, siendo gente veleidosa, que liberta sin igual, es en ellos natural, vida honrada e licenciosa. No justicias, ni penales, ni leyes, credo ni fuero, ni el pestífero dinero que parió todos los males. No conocen escritura ni la ansían conocer, pues está escrito en su natura cuanto merecer al saber. A ver, a ver, siendo gentes tan austeras, licenciosas e libertas, a las indias descubiertas han ser yermas, esomeras, no, son las tierras más bellas que ojo humano ha contemplado, con mil suertes de arbolado, faltas velas florecidas, unas tierras sin igual, en que siempre es primavera. He's describing the new world, always springtime, beautiful nature, weather, paradise. Batata. <laughs> Probamos en tal rizoma. Yes, Cristina. It's a beautiful village. Cristina is saying she's from Cuba, lived here in Bayona for 10 years. It's a beautiful, beautiful village. And this is such a great time of year. The most important festival of this town, Bayona. <coughs> <risa> pero esto no hay quien lo coma, pero, 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 pero parecen remolachas. Ellos las comen peladas, bien cocidas, y calientes. Que eh, vais a quedar sin dientes o de las patatas. Estas hojas son tabaco. Que ya irá con placer cuál es el tipo de mujer. Tomorrow we're going to tell you all about the, the different things they brought back when we're on the finca. When we're over there. That's a good shot there. Everyone get your postcards. Probaremos tal invento. Trying tobacco. <laughs> trying tobacco. So. <laughs> 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 Continuamos, 
tomando oro, papagayo, salmón, especiarías, y unos y otra recompensa que tomamos gran tesoro, de cabos de plazas de oro, con que hinchimos la despensa. Florecerá España entera de ser cierta tan gran nueva. Aquí tenéis una prueba de que es verdad y no quimera. Now they show them the gold and the treasures. Es oro que brilla. A bordo tres pinceles para el estilo serio estivados bajo tortilla. Ante tanta maravilla, el regidor se emociona y os reclama esta corona o al señor de Real Villa. Esa corona, señor, es de la reina Isabel. Sus trueques fueron cascabel. Más su coste, regidor. Fue el sacrificio de España, los percances de Colón, la enfermedad de Pinzón y el calvario de esta España. Devolvedle la corona, que es patrimonio de España. Welcome, Pedro. ¿Y cómo desde tierra extraña retornasteis a Bayón? A punto de naufragar. Pensamos morir mil veces, de ser festín de los peces en tan tenebroso mar. La derrota de Tornada. Buena fue hasta los azores, con los vientos muy señores, el amar siempre calmada. Mas el 13 de febrero, invocando las azores, se alzaron vientos mayores, con turbulento aguacero. Vino luego gran tronada y embraveció de la mar. Oh, si no me ¡Jugarle a turbonada! ¡Ceren los vientos atroces! ¡Las olas espantables! ¡Los truenos interminables! ¡Descarradores las voces! ¡El brinquedo es un brinquedo! ¡Desencajos del vivo! ¡Desencajos del vivo! Aferrando la pared por salvar al bastimento. Es inmortal un momento. Uno exige al otro de brea. Este arriba, aquí en la brea. Hasta la espera sin aliento. Tan furor y gabura. Quebró las dos carabelas. Bajando todas sus velas. Partiendo su arboladura. Con el árbol seco para el viento, sobrevino la oscuraza y agrandó la procedada, declinando nuestro aliento. Y ya en los instantes postreros, cielos y mares se abrieron y, y allí desaparecieron la niña y sus marineros. Saying the Niña disappeared, of course, they went different directions. En tal trance hicimos voto de no acaeciendo nada, exerzamos en Bayona poner cera a su patrona, la vida de la anunciada. Con un inmenso sufrimiento arribamos a esta orilla de tan noble alquería, merced al tiro. Sarmiento. 
Por su arrojo y con dolor vencimos al mar de suerte que el escapar a la muerte fue el gran prodigio, señor. Asombrosas nuevas son las que a vos pintó de escucho, y si el de nuevo ha sido mucho, mucho a ser el galardón. Y albricias por vuestra hazaña demandáis, señor pintor. Yeah, no, Gracias, no, no GPS de la reina de España. ¡Y acudan los mensajeros! ¡Parta la caballería! ¡Corran posta noche y día! ¡Raudos frescos en el cielo! Ah, oh, here's the horses, oh oh. Oh, look at that. Beautiful everyone, isn't that? Lo al regidor de Bayona, mensaje real vos mando. Teis a Isabel y Fernando en la condal de Barcelona. Es con Dios en buena y en llegando a Barcelona ceñiréis de esta corona a la reina, mi señora, porque sea coronada como reina y soberana de la nueva tierra indiana que en su nombre fue tomada. Crown of Con Reina Dios. Isabella. ¡Apriesa! Capitán Pinzón, no hayáis cuidado en esto, que los reyes habrán presto vuestro presente y razón. También pido con premura. Carpinteros con licencia que adoben con diligencia la maltrecha arboladura. Han cumplido tal encomienda, pero Enrique Epero Arroyo, por 500 pesos de oro, a pagar de nuestra hacienda. Y ahora, vaya veloso, preciso es que a esta gente que llega feble y doliente, haya sosiego y reposo. Bien sabéis, caro Sarmiento, que Bayona es real puerto de acogida es siempre abierto al amparo y banamento. Y enseguida habrá reposo, vestidura y bastimentos en las casas y aposentos de este pueblo generoso. Bayoneses forasteros, con asombro y con placer, acabáis de conocer como aquellos marineros. Han vencido al mar ignoto, en las Indias descubierto, por destreza, fe y acierto de Pinzón y su piloto. He presto la real vía, anunciará tal hazaña, a nuestra reina de España, doña Isabel de Castilla, eh, porque estos marineros han tornado vencedores, recibirse han con honores cual hidalgos caballeros, eh, a su paso han redoblar. Las campanas del convento, proclamando el nacimiento de otro mundo allá del mar, y anunciando con el viento que a Bayona de Galicia ha arribado la noticia del mayor descubrimiento. Y anunciando con el viento que a Bayona de Galicia ha arribado la noticia del mayor descubrimiento. Wow, that was nice, isn't it, everyone? Hearts for that one. Thumbs up. <laughs> Right on the beach. Yeah. I should have went out there singing with them. Yeah, clap everyone, clap. <laughs> Great show. So they do this theatrical arrival again tomorrow. And they do it on Friday too. It's great, isn't it? Look, now we've got some fireworks. Now it's party time. Hope you all enjoyed that part. We're going to stay a little bit longer because we started later. So everyone wants to join us. We're going to walk along the streets a bit. You can hear me okay? Wow. I'm going to move away. I was hiding behind. 
hiding behind this thing here to act as a good support. <laughs> More than welcome. You speak Portuguese? Well, you'd understand the nation point of it then. Darlene. Hope you enjoy. Wow. wow. There's a good end. Look at that. Get your postcards and post them on Naval Voyager. Look at that. Everyone, look at me 
hiding behind the wall. Another one. <laughs> Still hard. Look at the smoke with the moon behind. Isn't that nice? Now I got the flag again. Well, well, the connection went down a bit, didn't it? Let's see here. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to come out here. Well, there's Tiern in there, look. Go, that Let's was go amazing. Yeah, that was wow. That was so much fun. Now we're gonna go over here to the street here. So we're coming out. Watch my step. Turn around. So hang on a bit more. That was a later start. Oh, glad you enjoyed, everyone. Angie, you can put the link in there for the tourism of Bayona again. And uh, the Consejo, which is the town hall. So now what we're going to do is go for a walk along here. Tomorrow we're going to be walking along here. Let's see what we can find those uh, sweets, no? Aren't they over there? Yeah, let's go here first. Yeah, there's a stall there. We're going to go and walk. There's the Tourism of Bayona, their website. It's in English too. You can see about other events and all that. You can share as well, Angie, our our web page and there's our Galatian, our Bayona destination page. Sorry, I'm just trying to <laughs> talk, walk, and get around everyone. Okay, let's go over here. I'm getting my cape stuck on everything. So here we've got the mess halls. Where was all the... Let's see, look at all the crates and everything. Cut the sack, look at that. Cut the sack. <laughs> Thank you, Angie. And then you've got our guide there, and we've got other festivals. Just gonna see what we got here. There's lots of stalls. There's 214 stalls. No, 204 this year. So they've got all the sweets. Sweets and everything. But tomorrow we're gonna focus more on that. We want to see what's here. Let's go around. There's lots of people around here. I don't want to film everyone, so film my face right now. And then when we get around, there's two of them. We'll come right to here, see what's up here. Anyone have any questions? Go right ahead. El Camino de Santiago por la Costa Bayona. Yes, they have to come and see that. That's a excellent way of discovering Bayona. We're going to do another tour where we're going to walk part of the Camino along the coast coming into Bayona with a good friend of mine who's a Camino expert. See, there we go. There's the marker there. They're staying on top, but that's the marker of the pilgrimage way. The shell, St. James shell and the arrows. So that marks the Camino right from Bayona. And that's the uh, as well for the Maritime Way. So what we will do I'm going to get another nice focus up here of the fortress at night. Let's do that. Oh, you're more than welcome, Liz. Tomorrow we'll be in daytime. And uh, we'll be able to see more of the stalls and everything else. This was more for that spectacular event. See here? This is where it tells I'm going to focus in here. I don't know if you can see that, but it says the fort always from the 10th to the 17th century, all the parts of the Montreal and Monte de Boy. And look at this nice. This is right where you go up here, you go all the way up to the, the Parador. Look at that, everyone. I'm going to get a nice shot from around here so you can get your postcard. It's so much different at night, isn't it? Bye, Maria. Yeah, good. Happy you can join us tomorrow. There's a few gates that go through, but that is the, the tower there. And all its splendor for the festival of the Arribada. See you later. Mike there, he's over. My brother over in Edinburgh, he's going to be doing some whiskey trail tours and Edinburgh tours. You should check out his page. And don't forget to follow us, everyone, if you're not following us already. Click on the follow button. And any reviews for this are great. 
but we're going to be doing more sites in Bayona. Like I say, we wanted to get to the wild horses up on the on the hill. Yeah, we're going to see some of the wild horses. Yeah, yeah. I won't be riding one though. But no riding, no, of course. <laughs> then that uh, would be hard. <laughs> then we're thinking as well. That's our Instagram and YouTube. If anyone wants to follow, what we're going to do as well is start on YouTube to do some drone shots too, so you can check that out. We're even contemplating testing live stream with the drone so that could be interesting on our YouTube we haven't crashed the, the, the drone <laughs> in our first flight yeah now and uh, what else that we wanted to do is do the walk around the Parador so we've got a few things going so we're going to be featuring Bayona and all that it offers here a destination that's for all year round really you can see March here now Weather's great, sunny, cooler, wouldn't be beach weather, but still, it's a nice time to come and visit, and you're very close to the city of Vigo. There's a tourist office here, I'm going to focus when I walk by. That's it right there, tourist information office. That'll help you with any needs there for your stay in Bayona, and... If you look at the link for us, we arrange all food tours and all the tailor-made holidays here. We eat and walk about, so not only food. Here we got some stalls here. What we got here? Trying to find some food for you, everyone. What do we got here? Oh, we've got the nice empanada. Yeah, that's the empanada the pie. Empanada pies there. Empanadilla as well. And we've got the chorizo with bread. And we've got some... Look at the nice bread in there. The forno, which means the big oven. Oh, look at that one over there. I'm getting hungry. Are you hungry during dinner time? Yeah. <laughs> getting hungry. <laughs> look at the nice different types of bread. Look at that, Maria. Look at those. It's quinoa. Mm -hmm. Chia. So everything in the daytime, this is going to be spectacular tomorrow. We're going to take a little walk along the promenade here a bit and then Sarah goodbyes there. Oh, uh, here we go. Another one of the tiles on the other side. This one's showing the three caravels that left from Puerto de Palos, so Palos de la Frontera in Huelva. This was a centennial, fifth centennial of England. It's in their meeting between two cultures. Yeah. It's probably one of the big anchors from one of the ships there and then now we're going to show you more things tomorrow because you can see a lot of stalls are closed at this time of day we're going to get a view from here from the water if anyone has any questions go right ahead so this is all the new part of the town with the main paseo here paseo de Alfonso the ninth we're going to be walking along this tomorrow so we're basically going to start tomorrow where we ended here. Now you can put a link to our, our tour for tomorrow there again, uh, Angie, if you can. Shame Angie couldn't come with us. I was happy there wasn't much wind, but you see they've got a bike lane and they've got for walking and this goes all the way along to the other beaches. And you can see it's packed. Now it's the nightlife in the streets through the old quarter there. We'll be going all the way through here tomorrow. That should be fun. Hopefully you can join us. There's the link. And we're going to zoom in from here a little bit and then we'll say our goodbyes over at Rebeira Beach here where you just had the, you saw the discovery virtually with us, which is great. Hope you all enjoyed. And to join us tomorrow, that would be a pleasure to have you. Let's turn this around and get in the background there and get some light on our faces because it's quite dark. Okay, everyone. With the Pinta in the background. There we go. There it is. We're going to hop on La Pinta. This. No, we're going to go take yeah, a, have... a boat ride. We're going to go back to where we live on the other side of the bay in Kangas. So we're going to steal the boat we'll, and then we'll <laughs> sail over, no? And then come back tomorrow for <laughs> more.
Yeah, yeah who knows? And we can use it to come back and say, where'd it go? Just, oh, we just borrowed it because we're coming back tomorrow. <laughs> Better than driving, no? Okay, everyone, thank you. Bye, everyone. Thanks for and joining. Hope to join tomorrow so we can show you more of Bayona. This time on La Pinta to see inside and learn all about it. And thank you, everyone, for your donations. Much appreciated for your tips. Thanks very much. And we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Are you saying Galatian? Ata pronto. Tomorrow. How you say see you tomorrow? Ata mañana. Ata mañana. There we go. Bye bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.